Since its establishment in 1998, Olam Ghana has grown into one of the leading agri-commodity companies in the country. Though well known as a leading exporter and importer of commodities, we are also one of the largest LBCs in Ghana's cocoa sector with a presence in 58 districts across six regions. So I'm happy today to discuss the Olam cocoa business. It's a journey which has been so engaging, very enterprising, very challenging. And we are happy that today, from an originating business somewhere in 1998, uh, just doing cocoa bean supply, we are able to discuss almost everything which matter in the cocoa value chain. Olam Ghana is the first global trading house to be licensed for international marketing in Ghana. Olam and Ghana Cocoa Board have had very good relationships since the company entered the cocoa business in Ghana. So Olam has been involved in several areas of the cocoa value chain. Uh, they started as uh, an LBC that's buying cocoa from farmers and then introduced uh, some other benefits for farmers, that is the specialty cocoa, and then that led to payment of premiums at farmers. And through that, uh, Olam has trained their cocoa farmers. We don't just buy cocoa, we maintain a strong relationship with our stakeholders from the farm gate to the final destination. Olam Coco is known around the world for an unrivaled dedication to quality and excellence. We are so much differentiated. We are so different from the other LVCs. Certain things that we do that are making us be attracted to farmers and purchasing class. We are the only people doing it. They don't do it. We give uh, credit loans to our farmers at 0% interest. We are the only LVCs who are doing this. We have uh, our PCs at heart. We don't just leave them to procure the cocoa for us. We seek their welfare. And uh, we make sure that at the end of the day, we award them accordingly. We are the only LBC to who funds pieces directly into their accounts. We also pay them electronically. We pay through e-switch cards and also government of sales machines that we have uh, distributed to 14 districts that we are currently piloting and 14,000 farmers are participating in this. In 2009, Olam started cocoa processing and has since gained a unique upcountry position in the heart of the cocoa growing area. Olam Cocoa Processing Ghana Limited is a greenfield plant that was built by ADM Cocoa Processing Ghana Limited. In October 2015, Olam International acquired ADM Cocoa. We've been since then Olam Cocoa Processing Ghana Limited. The factory processes Ghana cocoa beans into cocoa liquor or cocoa mass under the brand Unical. Unical is over 30 years and the product is named Unical Ghana Cocoa Mass. We receive cocoa beans from Cocoa Marketing Company of Cocoa Board. Beans received are stored in our warehouse of capacity 30,000 metric tons. Beans are arranged in the warehouse according to lots and quality analysis for each lot are undertaken and stored in a database. 
beans are released to the factory depending on their quality. There are also some initiatives developed by the company that go a long way to benefit the community. For example, the company provides interest-free loans to farmers. Since Olam went into the internal marketing, they've kept on increasing. I think they are one of the largest buyers in the country at the moment. And what really enthused me is about they are cocoa sustainability programs. You go to a rural areas and there are boreholes, hospitals, schools, all part of the sustainability program. Farmers contact, you are giving the farmers good agribusiness practices. They go into this, you train them and they produce very well, which is very, very commendable. This is achieved through our various farmer extension programs, which is at the heart of our sustainability initiatives. Our Olam LBC business over the years has transformed from purely commercial entity into a sustainable business. It is not only the customers and staff that benefit from Olam Coco's operations. We use three main methods of rehabilitation. That is um, grafting or top working on old stocks, grafting or top working on young stocks, and then planting by seedlings. What we realized was that crops or the rehab that was done on old stock began yielding first followed by the ones on young stocks and then the ones that were planted directly by seedlings. To date, we can see that some of the farms, barely under two years, have already produced over 3,000 pots. We are able to do this through our eight pillars in the Olam Livelihood Charter in finance, in access to market, in improved yield, in quality, traceability, social investments, and environmental sustainability. I think that we would be naive if we would not give credit to the manpower which we have. And I think that 450 employees out of the 2,000 employees which exist in Olam, Ghana today belong to the cocoa trade. And that is a very strong benchmark that anyone would want to uh, have. And I would want to take this opportunity to thank all the various uh, employees that we have in cocoa. After about 20 years in existence, Olam Coco shows no sign of slowing down. For us, our journey has just begun.